that um, one, one of the things that the author is trying to tell us is that life is not handed to you on a silver platter. Like on page 16, when the pilot has a heart attack, I mean, what, what, like what people would think that it's, it's, it's maybe on airplanes, so it's just going to be a great ride. Everything's going to be perfect. Well, you know, sometimes it's not, you know? Um, I think that uh, what the author is trying to tell us is that, that sometimes in life not everything works out because a lot of it's like a lot on page um, six through seven it was talking about um, the divorce with his um, mom and dad and he really didn't want the divorce but I'm he said that he kept on thinking about it, thinking about it, and finally it came up to it and until he just said he wanted to stop. He didn't want to talk about it. Yeah. 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 And I think that um, he's really, really sad that his parents like split apart and they're like really, really far away from each other instead of being like like closer to each other. Yeah. So far that they're would have really to take far. a plane. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of and um, the part that where he, the pilot uh, had the heart attack. I heard the like, just. Um, where he had the uh, heart attack, where um, he, had, he, smelled, he said it smelled really bad. And, uh, it first started out where uh, he started rub, um, rubbing his right shoulder, the pilot, yeah. and then and then it finally got to where he was kind of like feeling like... Kind of like yeah. thrashing. Yeah. Back to what the author said. Yeah, and it's crazy. And he, Honestly, it's about like survival. Yeah, yeah. Some like, some like disaster, like yeah, survival would be good, one, but maybe a disaster like. I mean, well, yeah, I, I agree with what you say. I mean, I, I agree with what you say because it is it is survival because you know because since he had a heart attack, he'd still be able to survive because maybe the plane will run out of gas. You know, he might need to survive that. Yeah. Any possibility, really. It could cause a forced fire. Right. That'd be definitely. Christian, do you have something you want to say? Well, I wanted to say that um, the author tries to tell us that when you're in, like, a bad situ situation, don't panic. <laughs> On page, um, page 12, right? 12. Yeah. yeah, because he wasn't like so scared. He's, just, he's not like, oh no, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? He, he oh just, no. He's just chilling. Yeah, he's just like, he's just like, okay. He's just like, he's just like, I'm a boss. But, and then he figures out that the plane's, um, like the engine's going wrong and the gas is running out and yeah, finally the plane starts soaring down. I mean, he has like a, he can't really control that because the engine needs to be on for you to actually fly the plane. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is on. Oh, well, oh, well, I'm pretty sure it is on. I don't remember it ever saying that, but I mean, I'm pretty sure it's running out of gas. I don't know. Yes. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's running out of gas. I'm not a hatchet expert. Um, what I wanted to say, like, off of what um AJ has said, I wanted to say, like, life, you know, life isn't just given to you on a pla on a silver platter. Like, you're not, it's not like you're rich or something and you just get life handed to you on a silver platter. I mean, like, life doesn't work that way. I mean, you just, you have your own life. It's not... It's not like you're a millionaire and then life is just handed to you on a silver platter. No one. No one. No, and no, no one. No matter how no rich they one. are, and it's going to get the No silver. one. No matter how rich they are, no one will get life served to them on a silver platter. And I think that's what the author is trying to teach us. Yeah, a lot of people that become really, really rich, they just, they, I mean, 